Hello everyone, welcome to the 8085 programming series. So in this particular session, we'll study, we'll write an assembly language program to generate Fibonacci number. Okay, so what, first of all, what is a Fibonacci number? So here we can see, uh, this is the Fibonacci series. Okay, so in the Fibonacci series, the first number is 0, the next number is 1. To get the third number, we add the first and second, we get the third number. Okay, to get the fourth number, we add the second and third number to get the fourth number. Similarly, we go on adding the previous two numbers to get the new number. Okay, so here we ought we have is 0, 1, then 2 plus 1 is, uh, then we get 2 plus 1 is uh, 3, then 3 plus 2 is 5, 5 plus 3 is 8, 8 plus 5 is 0 D. Actually, it won't become 13 because we are doing hexadecimal addition. So, this is 0 D. 0 D plus 0 8 is 1 5, 1 5 plus 0 D is 2 2. Okay, so this is the Fibonacci series. Okay. So it, it will go it, it can continue to infinity. Okay. Now in our program we won't go to infinity, we'll only generate the first ten numbers and the tenth number which we generate finally will be stored in register A. So for that purpose we initialize the counter as we can see here. We are doing MVI D comma zero eight. So zero eight actually it will generate the tenth number because we are already uh, putting the first and the, the first and second number. We are assuming we know that number and we will generate eight more numbers after 0 and 1 okay so first we do next we do mvib 0 0 so we are initializing this register b to store the old to save the old number and mvic to save the new number okay Wh why this is old and view we will see, see it shortly then uh, see shortly then next is move a comma b so what we do we store the old number that is b which is in b in register a okay so 0 gets stored in register a with add c what happens is the number which is in A, okay, the old number, it gets added with C, okay, so 0 plus 1 is 1. Now 1 becomes the new number, okay. So this A contains the new number, okay. Now the number which was in C, okay, that is 0, 1, now it becomes the old number because we have already generated the next number which is in A. So we transfer the old number into register B, okay, and the new number which is in A, it gets transferred to C then we decrement C the count okay the count uh, is 8 so it will become 7 so if it is not 0 it jumps to 8006 now we put the old number in A okay add with C we get a new number okay so the C which was now which has now become old it goes to B A which is that our new number which we generate it goes into C and this continues okay until we complete this D, we make this as 0, as soon as D becomes 0, we come out of the loop and the thing which is in, the number which is in A is our, uh, is, is that particular number, the 10th uh, Fibonacci number, we only generate 10th Fibonacci number. Now let us execute this on the simulator. Now we will run the program in the simulator. So first step is MVID 08. So I will just, uh, there is instructions here, let us run it and then understand. So with the first step, D get 08 okay so we want to find this uh, numbers okay so two numbers will be generated and after that eight more numbers will be generated and the final number will be stored in register a then b will be zero zero the first number okay the second number is zero one which is in c this uh, b the register will store the old and the c the new now we go to the next step we transfer the contents of b to a okay so b was zero zero a also becomes zero zero with the next step add c now what this add c does it adds the contents of register a with c so a contained the old number and c was the new number so 0 plus 1 is 1 so this 1 is the first fibonacci uh, the the, uh, the the third fibonacci number so 0 0 was the first 0 1 was the second and 0 1 the third one because 0 1 plus 0 is 0 1 okay now next step what we do we transfer the contents of c to b okay c was the was actually was the new number okay now because we have uh, the new number in a so the old uh, c becomes the old number okay so this is transferred to register <coughs> b okay so b also becomes one now the new number which we get in a we transfer that to c okay c becomes one so, so from we are transferring the data from a to c okay. with dcrd this becomes seven okay but because it is not zero it will jump to so j and z because 0 is not uh, set so it will jump to 8006 so 8006 will return a move a comma b so the, the data which is in b will be transferred to a okay next we add c 
okay so add c will generate the next fibonacci number so 1 plus 1 is 2 okay so this will continue okay so this uh, it will continue okay so this 3 is the next fibonacci number okay this will continue okay i'll just go on executing the step wise okay so 0 d then 1 5 and 2 2 okay so in our case 2 2 is the last number okay in our series okay so this is the answer okay as we have seen you can see check it the with the, the one which i had done the calculation we are getting the same thing okay so that's all this for this particular this particular program let us go to the next one now let us see the next program so in this particular program we need to find the uh, factorial of a number between 0 and 8 so we need to find the factorial of a number now what is the meaning of factorial of a number suppose we are given a number let us say we are given a number uh, suppose 5 okay and we want to find the factorial of 5 so factorial means 5 into 4 into 3 into 2 into 1 so this is what the factorial of 5 would be okay what we are getting the answer that is the factorial of 5 okay. so here we have to write a program so that it can find the factorial of 5 and what we assume in this case is that the given number is stored in memory location so let us say the, the memory location is 8040 so we have a particular number uh, with between uh, 0 and 8 at 8040 okay. so at 8040 we have a particular number okay let us assume that number is 05 okay so uh, we first of all we get the number into register a and then from a we transfer it to b and he transfer it to d okay and then uh, why are we doing this we'll know it so then we decrement the d okay whatever is in d so 5 was in a far now with b comma move b comma a file so gets stored in b and it also gets stored in d okay then we decrement d so d becomes uh, 4 okay d becomes 4 now if d is not uh, if we say that we after agreement if d is 0 so we say jump if 0 to 8014 so 8014 directly store the data but because it is not 0 so this will be the maybe the last step but since d is not 0 it will perform this so what we do is move c comma d so this d which is 0 4 it goes into c okay so now c becomes 0 4 now this part xr a add b d c r c and j and z this part will actually perform the multiplication of b the content of b with c okay so whatever we are getting that finally gets stored in a okay so after this when it comes out the data which is in a will be stored in register b okay then we give unconditional jump to 8005 so what happens at 8005 it decrements okay d okay at zero, you can see it decrements d now d was 0 5 it becomes uh, sorry it was 0 4 it becomes 0 3 okay then again because d is not 0 okay we transfer d to c so now d becomes equal to c now c becomes 0 3 okay now this part again it performs the multiplication of b with c now what what does b contains actually because of this what we in this instruction we have transferred the content of a to b so uh, previously a contained the multiplication of 4 into 5 okay so now whatever is in b is actually the multiplication of 4 into 5 now that gets multiplied with 3 so with this step we multiply 4 uh, 5 with 4 with 3 this continues until d becomes 0 okay and when d becomes 0 we get the required answer and finally what we do we store this result to uh, location 8040 now let us execute this uh, on the simulator to get more clear picture of the uh, the the program now let us execute the code so this is the code which i have entered okay and uh, we need to enter some data at uh, 8040 so do remember we have to enter some data at this point for so i have entered 05 so i will get finally i will get the factorial of 05 that is 5 into 4 into 3 into 2 into 1 uh, if you if you multiply decimal it is 120 but in hexadecimal because this will perform hexadecimal uh, calculation so we will get 7 8 okay we must get 7 8 after we complete the program the answer in 8040 should be 7 8 now let us start with step wise with the first step we get 0 5 in register a okay lda what lda does it start stores the content from uh, location 8040 in register a with the next step the data in a goes into b with the next step data in a goes into d 
now we decrement d so d becomes 0 4 okay now because d is not 0 okay as we can see 0 flag is a uh, reset actually okay so uh, it, it won't jump to 8014 but it will transfer the content of d to c now, as we can see uh, we are having 5 in b and 4 in c so we ha this this the, the, the other the coming instruction they will actually perform the multiplication of 5 with 4 okay so this xra in my previous uh, lecture sessions i have shown how to multiply the, the by repeated addition so this part will perform this xra a add b d c r c j and z this will perform multiplication using uh, uh, multi mul this will perform multiplication using repeated addition okay so with the next step we have this xra a it will clear the data in a and add b okay then d c r c j and z now this will continue until we multiply both the numbers okay when c becomes 0 it means the multiplication is complete okay so now 5 into 4 is 20 but because it is hexadecimal so we will get 1 4 okay this 1 4 is the multiplication of is the product of 5 into 4 okay now what happens it will jump to 8005 okay it is the unconditional jump it will jump to 80 now we will dec decrement d now d was 4 it becomes 3 now okay so we need to now multiply the previous product that is 1 4 with 3 so 1 4 is in b and uh, this d has 3 okay so what we do is we uh, if it is not 0 we move forward transfer d to c okay and this 2 will get multiplied okay and this will actually continue okay this will continue until we get the final result as we get we as you can see the result is 7 8 we have already got so it will stop now okay and then when the z becomes 0 okay so d becomes 0 okay as you can see d becomes 0 and it will jump to the sta so sta it, it it stores the data from register a to location 8040 so 8040 our our this is the, the this 7 8 is actually the factorial of 5 okay so uh, in decimal it is 120 but in hexadecimal it is 7 8 okay so that's how we execute this particular program so that's all for this particular session thanks for watching